Hello everyone and welcome to Mass Analytics Masterclasses. My name is Ramla, I am the CEO and the co-founder of Mass Analytics. So in this season, we will try to focus more on some aspects of data processing. And today's course is about data processing that is related to smoothing and seasonality. Moving average. Moving average is a technique that is used in order to smooth out your data. How it works is that you will be sliding a window and you'll be computing the local average within that window. Now, there are two variations of your moving average. There is what we call the standard moving average, where the target observation would be at the start of your window, and the centered moving average, where your target observation would be located at the center of the sliding window. For example, we want to smooth out our sales data. And here we have created two versions of the moving average, one with a sliding window of 50 periods, and the other one is with a sliding window of 10 periods. You can clearly see that when you opt for a large window, you can obtain a smoother version of your data set. And here the choice of how large is the window will really depend on what you want to get as an output. So if you really want to smooth out really well your data, then go for a large uh, window. Median filter. As per moving average, median filter is also used to smooth out your data. If you remember, in the moving average, we slide the window and we take the average or the local average within that window. In the median filter is the same concept, but instead of taking the local average, you will be taking the median within that window and you keep sliding that window, and you can also vary the size of that window to obtain different variations of your median filter. Now, if you compare the output that you get from the median filter and the moving average, one can say that generally the median filter is less sensitive to outliers than moving average when it comes to smoothing your data. This is an illustration of the median filter where we have tried to use the median filter in order to smooth the sales data again. And as you can see, uh, you can go for different parameters of the median filter. And as the window you define gets larger, the output that you will get as a result of this will, uh, will be smoother. Seasonality. Creating seasonal variables is very important in any marketing mix modeling project, especially when you are modeling highly seasonal products or brands. Now, there is no one single way of creating seasonal variables. One of the ways that one could use is the creation, what we call the average year on year. So the way it works is that, say for example, you have three years worth of data. What you can do is that you stack up those three years of sales and you average out each data period year on year in order to obtain that seasonal pattern. What does this mean is that, for, say for example, we have seasonality pre-summer, then obviously if I sum up or average out the pre-summer period for each year, I will obtain that actually my sales are higher during that period, and the seasonal variable that will be created as a result of that will showcase the fact that during pre-summer we have an increase in seasonality. That variable can then be used as independent variable in order to measure seasonality. Now, the other way of creating seasonality is based on the same methodology, is not to only look at your sales, but to look at your sales and the sales of your competition. So here, the principle we have is that if we see that in the ecosystem in which we operate as a brand, that's me and my competitor, we see that all of us have seen a surge in sales in pre-summer, that probably means that pre-summer is a high season for all of us, and that's why we need to create a variable that depicts the fact that actually we have a surge in sales during that period, and the seasonality should show that particular effect. In this illustration, we try to create seasonality out of our sales data because, for example, the sales of the competitors were not available, so the only factor that we can use is to derive seasonality out of our sales. So what we have done for the periods that we have modeled, we have stacked 
all the three years and we have averaged out the sales that we have realized at each week and we took the average of each of those three years and we replaced by one point in the seasonal factor that we have created. And you can see that you would obtain a yearly curve that would repeat itself with the same variations year on year. And that will depict the sales seasonality that you would expect every single year when you are modeling. So this variable could be entered into your model in order to uh, model the impact that the market seasonality will have on your product. Remember, when we created seasonality earlier on, we have created seasonality out of our sales variable. And our sales variable is a dependent variable. So we are creating an independent variable based on our dependent variable. And you know that might cause problems. So that's why what is also advisable to do is to apply another processor to the seasonal factor that we have obtained. For example, smoothing out the seasonal factor by applying either the median filter or the moving average, which are common processors that are used to smooth the variable. On my screen, you can see a version of the seasonal factor that we have created earlier on, but we have applied a moving average to it, so we can smoothen out the edges of, these, uh, of the seasonal factor and make it depart more from the sales data that we are trying to explain. Thank you very much for watching. I hope these videos uh, added some increments to your marketing mix modeling knowledge. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos like this. Please comment in case you have any questions and it would be my pleasure to get back to you with all the answers that you are seeking in the context of these videos and in the context of marketing measurement and marketing mix modeling. Thank you very much.